This program is brought to you by Kuruji TV. This YouTube video is a translation of the Tamil video of a renowned astrologer, Jyotish Mahaguru Aditya Guruji. The link of the original version, that is a Tamil video, is given in the description box of this video. In my last video, I explained about the characteristics of the Capricorn house effects of the planets such as Sun, Moon, Mars in the house of Capricorn with different planet conjunction and shared much more intricacies. In this video, I am going to explain about the effects of other planets in the Capricorn house. The planet that I am going to explain first of all is Mercury. This is such a favorable house for the planet Mercury. Though, when Mercury resides in the house of Capricorn, will head towards debilitation, the Capricorn and Aquarius houses are very friendly houses to the planet Mercury. When Mercury resides in the Capricorn, which is the mobile Rashi of the Saturn, it will do immense benefits. As per Bhavat Bhavam, when Mars resides in the Capricorn, it will be in the 10th house from one of its own houses, Aries, and it will be in the 3rd house from its another own house, Scorpio. Therefore, Mars will be in a neutral state for one of its houses. Yet, as a malefic, it should not get exalted. When Mercury resides in the house of Capricorn, it will be in the 8th house to its own house Gemini, which represents wisdom, to another own house Virgo, that represents intelligence, it will be in the 5th house when it resides in Capricorn. The entire house effects of the house of Virgo will be delivered when Mercury resides in the house of Capricorn based on which ascendant you are. You will be definitely intelligent. If Mercury resides in the house of Capricorn, then the person is intelligent. When Mercury is in its friendly house and that too a mobile sign, then the person will be extremely intelligent. When Mercury resides alone in the house of Capricorn, during its major planetary period, it will deliver great benefits. Based on the nakshatra Lord and Capricorn such as Sun, Moon and Mars, the Mercury will deliver its effects according to the Ascendant. Therefore, in the house of Capricorn, when Mercury resides alone, then it will deliver benefits. In addition to this, planetary position, if it is in conjunction with Venus alone, then the benefits that are delivered by the Mercury during its Dasha will be immense. Venus will be in a mental state like it is along with a very friendly planet in a friend's house. So it will be very very happy. When Mercury resides in the house of Capricorn, it would feel like it is in the friend's house where the friend has gone out and it also lets another friend to live it and to have some fun happily. When a planet is in its friendly house with its friend, then it will deliver great benefits. The Mercury will render great intelligence to the person when it resides in the house of Capricorn. The search for wisdom, of course, will be less for the person. The person, of course, will not be interested in learning Shastras but other subjects. When Mercury resides in the Capricorn, it will improve a person in the fields related to accountancy, software, astronomy, mathematics and all the significance related to the Mercury. Please remember that Mercury should not be in conjunction with Saturn 
though this is Saturn's own house. What will happen in case the Mercury is in conjunction with Saturn? Of course, the benefits delivered by Mercury will be lessened because the Mercury becomes Pabatva. In any situation, a malefic is a malefic. Of course, Saturn is a friendly planet to the Mercury and Capricorn is also a friendly house. But what would happen when Mercury is with the person who is a rowdy? Of course, the Mercury will be influenced by such a malefic. Mercury can be in conjunction with Venus and even it can be in conjunction with Jupiter that is debilitated Jupiter in the house of Capricorn. Mercury will become Subhatva in this case. Mercury can be aspected by Jupiter and Mercury can be in conjunction with Venus but it should not be in conjunction with Saturn or Rahu. If in case the Mercury is in conjunction with Saturn or Rahu, the benefits delivered by the Mercury will be less. The next planet that I am going to explain is Jupiter. This is the house where Jupiter is debilitated. When Jupiter resides in the house of Capricorn, it will be in the second house to its own house Sagittarius and it will be in the 11th house to its another own house Pisces. Though Jupiter is debilitated, Jupiter is a benefic. When a benefic gets debilitated, of course, it does not lose its strength completely it will render its benefits that are needed for you to run your everyday's living. It will give money for your everyday running of the life. It will give you enough at least for your everyday life. If Jupiter is exalted, then the person will be a billionaire. In case even if Jupiter is debilitated in a natal chart, it will give money for a person minimally. I have written all these in my articles titled as The Exaltation and Debilitation of the Planet. So please do not be afraid when you see the status of Jupiter as debilitated. When Jupiter is retrograde and debilitated, then it will behave like an exalted Jupiter, though it is not exalted because it gives contrasting effects to the debilitation. Please remember at this point, there will not be any worse effects just because Jupiter gets debilitated. But at the time, if Jupiter is in conjunction with Saturn or Rahu, then it becomes Pabatva. In case if Jupiter is in conjunction with Saturn, what would happen? The person will be a philosopher. The person will have interest towards the religious philosophies. The person might be very devoted towards Lord Shiva. There is a possibility that a person can be even an atheist with this planetary conjunction. Can you guess the reason? Because Jupiter became Pabatva. The conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn in the house of Capricorn will turn a person into theist or an atheist. The planets are very strange. The person can speak about atheism. Simultaneously, the person will be interested in Siddhanta as well. In other words, I will say the person will have a research mind in religious texts and religious fields. When Jupiter and Saturn are in conjunction in the house of Capricorn, the person will have a research mind religiously and of course the person will talk like a rationalist like Periyar, who is known for his rationalism. They will deny the existence of God. These contradictory predictions are based on Subhatva and Pabhatva of the planet. When Jupiter resides in the house of Capricorn, it will be in the second house to the Sagittarius and it will be in the eleventh house to the Pisces and though it is debilitated in the house of Capricorn, it will deliver benefits. 
If Jupiter is debilitated for the native of Libra ascendant, it is good. For the native of Libra ascendant, when Jupiter is debilitated in the house of Capricorn, it will deliver benefits because it is in the 11th house to the 6th house for the native of Libra ascendant. You have to make predictions based on which ascendant you are. Some of you are very much afraid of the exaltation and debilitation of the planet Jupiter. Jupiter will not give worse effects. Some people think that when Jupiter is debilitated, there is no progeny, there is no money. When Jupiter resides in the house of Capricorn, it will be in a position to deliver the progeny and money provided it is not Pabatva. But in case if the debilitated Jupiter is aspected by the Saturn that resides in the house of Scorpio by its third aspect, then it will affect the progeny. Because here comes the concept of Pabatva. This is the place where you have to understand the effects of a debilitated planet. This sort of planetary position happened during the 70s or 80s. When Jupiter was debilitated, the Saturn from the Scorpio aspected the debilitated Jupiter in the Capricorn house by its third aspect. The people who were born with this planetary position in the natal chart will suffer a delay in progeny or will lack the delivery of a male child or there will be no male child at all or there will be only female children or there will be no progeny at all. And the person will definitely face financial issues as well. The person will be affected financially. If only you understand the concept of Pabatva, you can understand the concept of debilitation. Having said all these, when Jupiter is debilitated in the house of Capricorn, it is not great harm. Of course, Jupiter can assure the money that is needed for daily living. In case if Jupiter is retrograde, then Jupiter can deliver money at the higher level. However, Jupiter should not be in conjunction with Saturn or Rahu. In case if Jupiter has connection with Mars, then the awesome Guru Mangal Yoga will happen. It is such auspicious yoga. When Jupiter is debilitated and gets the connection of the Mars, then Jupiter will make the Mars highly Subhatva by making it very cool. This is such an extremely auspicious state. Professions related to fire, red color, civil engineering, etc. will deliver benefits for such persons. The complete Subhatva of the Mars will make a person to become a sportsman. When exalted Mars is in conjunction with the debilitated Jupiter, all these benefits will be delivered by the Guru Mangal Yoga. When Jupiter is in conjunction with Mars, it will make the Mars Subhatva and Jupiter will get Sthanabala as it is in conjunction with its friendly planet Mars, which is the exalted planet. This state is called as Nichabanga, that is cancellation of debility, which is an indirect exaltation. It is not direct exaltation though. When Jupiter is in conjunction with the exalted Mars in the house of Capricorn, which is the debilitation house for Jupiter, the Jupiter will attain indirectly Sthanabala, though not direct strength. Having said all these, Please do not worry about the debilitation of the Jupiter. Jupiter will lose its strength and will become Pabatva if only it is in conjunction with Rahu or aspected by Saturn. I have already told when Jupiter is aspected by the Saturn, then it will incline the person into spiritual world. 
the person will make contradictory arguments and the person can blather or talk long which is of no importance. The person's speech will not have any significance at all. All these can be found when Jupiter and Saturn are in conjunction in the birth chart because these are the characteristics of the Saturn. The person will feel like he knows everything in the world and he will talk without any stop. The person would like to compensate his inferiority complex and will attempt to prove his knowledge but will end up in talking meaningless stuff. The person feel like nobody respects him. These sort of feelings will be rendered by the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn in the house of Capricorn. Of course, there will be spiritual inclination. The person will show a lot of interest in spiritualism. Well, I have explained everything about Jupiter. Now, let me explain about the planet Venus. This is such an auspicious house for Venus. Why? Because this is the most friendly house for Venus. This is the house meant for Venus. Let us know this in detail. Because when Venus resides in the house of Capricorn, it will be in the ninth house from one of the Venus own house, Taurus, and it will be in the fourth house to its another own house, Libra. This forms the quadrant and trine. I thought of even explaining the Kendra Dibadi Dosha. I forgot to mention it. I will explain about that on another occasion. I wanted to explain as per Bhavad Bhavam of the planetary position of Venus in the Capricorn. Sometimes I forget all these since I don't have any notes beside me, but will definitely explain on another occasion. Well, this is one of the best houses where Venus can reside. If Venus is in conjunction with the Mercury, then it is more auspicious, but Venus should not be in conjunction with Saturn. No matter how friendly the Saturn is to Venus, the Saturn is a rowdy guy. In case if Venus is in conjunction with Saturn, the Venus will make the Saturn Subhatva and the Venus will lose its strength. Therefore, when Venus and Mercury reside in the house of Capricorn, it is considered to be very auspicious. This will render all the pleasures to the person like a good wife, good spouse, good marital life. The complete significance of the Venus will be delivered to you. And when Venus is in conjunction with Mercury, the person will just chill out. But Venus should not be in conjunction with his friend Saturn because Saturn is a drunkard and is a rowdy guy. Imagine a situation where the person goes to the friend's house, but if the friend is in the house, it will become an issue to the person who visits the house because the friend will drink a lot and he will always make issues. The very same situation applies to the conjunction of Venus and Mercury in the house of Saturn and the Saturn residing in the Capricorn itself. We cannot deny that the house of Capricorn, that is which is Saturn's own house, is very very auspicious for these two planets. The house is very comfortable and we can stay for four days, but the owner of the house is such a notorious one. If he consumes alcohol and gets intoxicated, he cannot control himself. The exact situation applies for the state of Venus and Mercury in the house of Capricorn when Saturn resides there together with them. If Saturn does not reside in the house of Capricorn, then it is such a luxurious house, comfortable house and lavish one for the planets Venus and Mercury and they can stay for a few days in such a great mental state provided Saturn does not reside in the house of Capricorn. 
If Saturn resides in the house of Capricorn along with Venus, it will spoil the significance of Venus. When Venus is in conjunction with Saturn, what would happen? The Saturn will become Subhatva by the presence or by the conjunction of the Venus and the Venus will be spoiled. Please try to understand the astrological concept based on light energy. Consequently, what would happen during the major planetary period of these two planets? The major planetary period of Venus will be spoiled and the major planetary period of the Saturn will turn to be good. Though the major planetary period of the Saturn delivers benefits, it is good that Venus resides alone in the house of Capricorn. Because Venus is a natural benefic and when it resides in the house of Capricorn, it will be in the trine house to its own house Taurus and it will be in the quadrant house to its own house Libra. Venus will deliver the effects of both houses Taurus and Libra and especially it will deliver more house effects of the Taurus. Therefore, when Venus resides alone in the house of Capricorn, it is good and even if it is in conjunction with Jupiter, it is good to a certain extent. I hope you know, sometimes I say that the conjunction of Jupiter and Venus is not favorable. When Venus resides in the house of Capricorn with the debilitated Jupiter, Venus will make the Jupiter Subhatva in the mobile sign Capricorn. Therefore, the significance of the Jupiter will not be reduced. In any case, Venus should not be in conjunction with the Sun here and the Venus should not be combusted by the Sun. The combustion is another type of issue or shortcoming. Venus should not be in conjunction with the Sun. Venus can be in conjunction with Mercury. It should not be in conjunction with Rahu. When Rahu is in conjunction with Venus, then the difference of degrees of conjunction plays a very important role. You know that there are three levels of degrees of conjunction that have their own significance. 8 degrees, 13 degrees and 22 degrees. When Rahu is in conjunction with Venus above 13 degrees and below 22 degrees, then Rahu will be made Subhatva by Venus. In case if Rahu is in conjunction with Venus within 13 degrees, it will spoil the significance of the Venus. The same rule applies for the conjunction of Venus and Saturn as well. If Saturn is in conjunction with Venus within 13 degrees, then it spoils the significance of Venus. Therefore, Venus should not be in conjunction with Saturn or Rahu. I believe it was 1991 January or February all the planets, uh, I mean all the three planets, Venus, Saturn and Rahu were in conjunction in the house of Capricorn. The people who are born at that time will have a big marital life. Therefore, the significance of Venus will be totally lost. But I believe fortunately that these planets were aspected by Jupiter as well. This happened around January or February of 1991. The people who approaches you with this planetary combination will not have a good marital life and it is also based on the degrees of conjunction of Rahu and Venus. Having said all this, Venus should not be in conjunction with Rahu. It can be in conjunction with Mercury or Jupiter. When Venus is in conjunction with Mars, then it is called as Brigumangal Yoga, where the Mars will be made Subhatva by the Venus. Venus is a natural benefic. Venus will not be comfortable when it is in conjunction with any other planets other than Mercury. 
the people are really fortunate who have venus and mercury alone in the house of capricorn let me explain about the next planet saturn in the house of capricorn this is saturn's own house however the saturn should not reside in this house though this is a mobile sign saturn should not reside in this house saturn should not reside in this house without any subhatva when saturn resides in the house of capricorn its own house it will deliver the complete characteristics of the house that i mentioned in my last video the person will be extremely opportunistic a fraud and the person will have all the bad qualities of the saturn when there is no subhatva this person will not be liked by anybody the major planetary period of saturn will also not deliver any benefits the person will just act like a crocodile where he will wait for the opportunity and will be an opportunist and will cheat others who approach him in his life let us imagine that saturn resides in the house of capricorn and the major planetary period of saturn has started what would happen the person would totally exploit the people who approaches him whether it is a business partner or a person he meets in life he will take the fullest advantage of the other person the partner he will exploit them and he will make them a pauper and he will enjoy all the benefits from the other person this is the exact nature of the saturn the pabatwa saturn that resides in the house of capricorn will exhibit all the bad characteristics of the saturn completely all these are delivered by the pabatwa saturn the saturn without any subhatva something which exists in its natural form will deliver all the bad effects it will spoil the mind of a person the person will turn as an opportunist will act like a thief etc with all the bad qualities all these will be delivered by pabatwa saturn in case if saturn is subhatva let us say it is in conjunction with jupiter then it will deliver the spiritual inclination the saturn and jupiter conjunction will make the person a lawyer etc because the person will earn their living by the subhatva significance of the saturn for example the person will earn the bread by telling lies what sort of profession it could be it is the lawyer profession when the second house and the 10th house of the rashi or ascendant is connected with jupiter and saturn then they will become greater legal experts or they will be working as judges based on the subhatva of the jupiter and based on the subhatva and pabatwa of the saturn the person may work in the domain related to the significance of saturn such as quarries stone petroleum stinky water and sewage handling bathroom tiles hardware sanitary ware products the professions that one hesitates to express like bar alcohol etc though the house of capricorn is the own house of the saturn the saturn should not reside alone in the capricorn without any subhatva when saturn is pabatwa in the house of capricorn for example when it is in conjunction with mars rahu in the house of capricorn then saturn will just act like a demon during its major planetary period the saturn should get the least subhatva it must get subhatva at least by the aspect of the venus or by the conjunction of the venus aspect of the jupiter or at least the saturn must get the aspect of mercury or conjunction with lone mercury or it can receive the aspect of the waxing moon without the conjunction with the waxing moon then it is good 
In case if Saturn is in conjunction with waxing moon, then the Saturn will spoil the moon. In case if Saturn is in conjunction with the moon, then it is called as Punarpu Yogam or Punarpu Dosha. I usually do not give much importance to the concept of yoga. If you understand the fundamental concept of light energy, then you will understand all the yoga. The concept of all the yoga, dosha actually leads you to go in circles and circles and hurdles you to reach your destination. I am explaining everything on the basis of light energy. Astrology is totally based on light energy and I am teaching you astrology based on the concepts of light energy. Punarpu dosha, what is that about? It is the conjunction of the Saturn and the moon. So what would happen when the Saturn is in conjunction with the moon? It affects the mother because moon is the significator of the mother. It also spoils the mind. It affects one's own mind. The person will have a lot of inferiority complex. Therefore, the Saturn spoils the status of the mother, the mind of the person. Rather focusing on yoga, if you understand the concepts based on the light energy, then you can make clear predictions. When the Saturn is in conjunction in the house of Capricorn with the waxing moon, then the Saturn will make the moon Pabatva and the Saturn in turn will become Subatva. Depending on which house the Capricorn is to the ascendant, we can identify whether this planetary position is beneficial or not. For example, for the native of Aquarius ascendant, if the moon is spoiled, it is good. For the native of Aquarius ascendant, the ascendant lord is in conjunction with the waxing moon, so it is good for the ascendant. This is the way you have to make predictions. It is very important to know for which ascendant you are going to make predictions. Based on that, the strength of the planet can be favorable or unfavorable to the ascendant. Having said all these, when Saturn resides alone in the house of Capricorn, it is not good at all. In contrast to this, when Saturn resides in the house of Capricorn and it gets Subhatva, then the person will be inclined towards spiritualism, the person will get the wisdom of Shastras, the person will have a lot of patience and they will do any task with extreme patience. However, you can smell the nature of the Saturn because that is what all about the Saturn. The next planet that I am going to explain is Rahu. The Rahu that resides in the house of Capricorn will act on its own. This is the mobile sign of a malefic. When Rahu resides in the mobile sign of a malefic, if it is Subhatva, then it can do benefits. The effects will be delivered based on which ascendant is for the native. I always reiterate one of my concepts of Sukshma strength. If the houses are third or eighth house or the twelfth house, and Saturn gets exalted in one of these houses, then it will be in a house where it loses all its strength. Please try to understand the logic that I explain. I explain the concepts of Sukshma strength and Subhatva strength with certain logics and few of the concepts will take even 10 to 15 years to understand. I have written an article in 2011 regarding the Sukshma strength of malefic planets. I wrote it 10 years ago. To me, it seems like I wrote it last night. I sometimes wonder about my journey as a commercial astrologer for 10 years. I started my journey as a commercial astrologer 
in January 2011. I started my office post-January 2011. Since the fourth month of the commencement of my office, I wrote this article that is the Sukshma strength of the Malafic and I wrote that article for the magazine Trisakti Jodidam. In that article, I have written that when Rahu resides in the Capricorn or Aries and these houses becomes either the third house or the eleventh house to the ascendant, the dispositor of the houses will be in the eighth house or the twelfth house from the ascendant. This is the truth. Let me explain with an example. For the native of Rikshik ascendant, if Rahu resides in the house of Capricorn, that is in the third house to the ascendant, based on the concept that the dispositor should be exalted, the Saturn will be exalted in the twelfth house to the native of Scorpio ascendant, that is Saturn will get exalted in the house of Libra, which is the twelfth house to the native of Scorpio ascendant. This is where the Sukshma strength is proved. I have understood, I have realized and it is after all my research, I am explaining to you these intricacies of the astrology. Now let me explain the second one for which ascendant the Capricorn will be in the 12th house. For the native of Pisces ascendant, the Capricorn will be in the 11th house. Therefore, if the dispositor of the 11th house should be exalted for the native of Pisces ascendant, the Saturn will be in the 8th house from the house of Pisces, which is Libra. In this case, the Rahu that resides in the house of Capricorn will deliver great benefits. When you understand the concept of Sukshma strength of the malefic planets with the logics that I explain now, you will definitely appreciate my classic sense of astrology. It is true. Having said all this, when Rahu resides in the house of Capricorn with Subhatsuva and the dispositor gets exalted in the house of Libra, Rahu will deliver great benefits. In contrary to this, the major planetary period of Saturn will be very like that of a demon, which is not our subject here. In the above scenario, the major planetary period of the Rahu will deliver benefits. For the native of Pisces ascendant, the lord of the 11th house gets exalted in the house of Libra, whereas the house of Libra is the 8th house to the native of Pisces ascendant. During the major planetary period of the Saturn, which gets exalted in the 8th house, the Saturn will spoil the family, speech, money because the Saturn aspects the second house of the Pisces. Therefore, it spoils the family, speech and wealth. All these will be totally spoiled. When Saturn is without any Subhatva, of course it will spoil the houses where it connects through aspect or placement. If Saturn is without any Subhatva, definitely the major planetary period of Saturn will be worse. And let us focus on Rahu which is in the house of Capricorn. When Rahu resides in the house of Capricorn and the dispositor gets exalted, then Rahu will deliver benefits. In addition to this, when Rahu gets Subhatva, by the connection of Jupiter and Venus, then it will deliver incredible benefits. The Rahu is in the house of Capricorn. It comes as the third or eleventh house without Pavatva connection. It is good. 
the rahu that resides in the house of capricorn will not spoil as long as it has no connection with saturn or mars therefore when rahu resides in the house of capricorn it is good let me explain about the next planet ketu the ketu that resides in the house of capricorn is also good when ketu resides in the house of capricorn it is in the mobile rashi of the saturn and all what i said for rahu a place for ketu as well when ketu resides in the house of capricorn it will deliver the wisdom of shastras the person will be spiritually inclined ketu will be able to deliver the wisdom of exploring the hidden secrets of the shastras it will give the greatest heights in spiritualism when saturn is in conjunction with ketu in the house of capricorn saturn gets the sukshma strength when saturn and ketu are in conjunction in the house of capricorn the person will be inclined to visit the holy places to follow siddhars the great sages exploring the secrets of shastras like mantra tantra etc in case if ketu becomes pabatwa since the ketu resides in the house of capricorn it will let the native to stay in places where there is no proper sanitation or hygiene when ketu is not in conjunction with saturn but has the aspect of the saturn or when it gets pabatwa by the connection of the mars it will lead the native to live around the areas where there is no proper hygiene or the person will be working in a mortuary whatever i told in my last video while i was explaining the characteristics of the house of capricorn that signify certain regions like hospital mortuary etc can be recalled i mentioned that the capricorn signifies places such as hospital mortuary etc this will happen when ketu becomes pabatwa here having said all these when rahu or ketu resides in the house of capricorn it should not become pabatwa it is not good at all however when ketu is in conjunction with the saturn in the house of capricorn the saturn will attain sukshma strength this will incline the person to be in spiritualism and it will give greater heights in spiritualism astrology is a combination of different rules and exceptions out of your experience you have to apply these rules and exceptions at the right place you might think that i am telling you some contradictory points it might seem so but it is not true when you make predictions looking at the natal charts you will definitely realize what i say is 100% true therefore when ketu resides in the house of capricorn it will not deliver the worst effects to a greater extent i have explained so far the effects of different planets in the house of capricorn and shared some intricacies of astrology in my next video i'm going to explain about the favorable dasha and favorable dasha favorable professions for the native of capricorn ascendant and i'm going to share some more intricacies of astrology well this is question time can jupiter deliver progeny or wealth when it is debilitated in the house of capricorn option a yes option b no and please justify your response please write your answer in the comment section of this video the link of aditya guruji's website is given below in the description box of this video that is accessible by both ios and android users the link of google play store app is also given in the description box that is available only for android users the tamil version of this video is also available please check the description box and please write your feedback 
to astro.writeus at gmail.com. Thank you.